Hey y'all, it's Alante from Black and in Grad School. And so today I wanna share with you all my note-taking system for reading research articles. First thing I wanna show you is how to read a research article quickly. And this is a flowchart I created that shares my super easy and quick way of reading my research articles. That's what I just said, duh. So first you wanna make sure you read the abstract conclusion tables and figures. That's it. Don't try to go and read anything else. Read those things and then stop and think to make sure and ask yourself, is this article relevant to your research? If it is not, stop. Do not read any more. It is not useful of your time or your energy to read any more. And so when I say, is this article relevant to your research? You should be thinking, is it answering a specific question or supporting a specific point I'm trying to make? Or is it refuting um, a point that I'm trying to make, like offering a, a different perspective on um, a point that I'm trying to make in my paper. So of course, this is coming through. You've already outlined your paper. You have an idea of what it is you want to address and in, in your paper slash research. So you want to have your paper structured so that you're able to think through if the article is relevant or not. Okay. So you decide if it's not, stop. Don't read anymore. If it is, you should consider looking at the introduction, discussion, and methodology. And so you don't necessarily have to read it in this order. Maybe you are looking at this paper to figure out how to conduct your own research. Or if it's for literature review, definitely want to listen, look at the introduction and discussion. Um, but you want to read, you want to skim through these pieces. I personally am not the greatest skimmer. That's why this formula has worked really well for me and kept me from wasting a lot of time trying to read the paper from top to bottom. So you want to consider, again, skimming through these sections, trying to look for keywords or phrases that you are important to you. And then you want to take notes. And personally, I'm from, I'm team copious notes, lots of notes, as many notes as I can muster on any given thing. Um, as an engineer, that probably isn't saying much, but that is kind of how I'm able to not waste time in the future going back trying to reread or what article said that thing about that one thing just try to make sure that I capture that in my notes so that I'm not scrambling when it's time to synthesize the information I've collected so with that as I'm reading, I write hand notes and afterwards I come to my research paper form and you might not need to write hand notes. If not, be, be great, flourish my friend, because I wish that I didn't have to take hand notes because it, it can be time consuming, but it's what works for me. So I go to my research paper form and there I include the citation. You can use any citation manager to create this for you. Um, sometimes articles actually have a line for the citation for the paper in like at the top of the paper. And I first thing to make sure that I'm reading what I, this, this formula I have, did I ACT, did I act, did I read the abstract conclusion, look at tables and figures. So I check yes or no. Um, I provide just like a one sentence summary of what this paper is about or the main point that I need to pull from it. And I check how relevant it is to my work. So if it's a little bit or a lot, um, and then just like a yes or no, when it's kind of in the middle. <laughs> and then I place long form no notes that I've written out in this section. Sometimes I might just get to this part because I'm doing like, I'm reading through a bunch of papers and I don't really want to sit and go through all of them right this time. So I actually have a little um, option for picking a time in a day to read it at a later point. Now, I'm not sure if this feature is available on all Google Forms, I'm able to use, our school uses Google, um, like school or Google at work. So I have this capacity. Hopefully most schools, a lot of schools do. Um, so hopefully you can use this function. And then also you want to make sure you have your topic. So maybe these are your keywords you're researching or using to find literature. You want to have um, a couple that are relevant to this particular project. So I have multiple paper forms. Um, this one is for a paper that I'm wrapping up and I have a new one for my new project. Um, and then you want to 
check the ones that apply, right? That's easy. And sometimes I have more notes. So like maybe if I read reports sometimes, I might put like, this is a report, not a scholarly article or, um, you know, so-and-so also wrote this piece about this and they support it through this, you know, or something like that. Or go check out these citations or these other papers from based on this, like something I found in the bibliography. And then also something that I've been talking about in um, my latest episode of Black in Grad School is productivity. And so I write how long it took me to finish the article and complete the paper form so that I can keep track of how long it takes me to complete these tasks. That's really important for me. And then lastly, this is again a function from uh, my Google being through school is uploading the images. And so I can take screenshots and drop tables and figures that are relevant or um, anything else I think is important to add to my notes. Okay. And so you can, in the um, details below this video, I will actually have a link where you can download your own copy of this paper form and you can create your own um, set of questions by changing any of the, this information. You could change this, you know, make it work for you. Write it in your own words. You want, if you like this note taking system, you want to make sure that it's tailored to um, your liking. So here I have my responses. I need to do a little bit more reading. <laughs> and that is why I'm also in the middle of doing a balanced scholar challenge right now because I'm about to get crazy with my reading. And a cool thing you can do is actually link your form to a Google Sheet. And so you want to click this button and that'll link it and it'll pop up. If this was empty, you would actually see um, just all this. These the headers would pop in. These all would be blank from two on down would be blank. You would rename your sheet and get started. And so as you see here at every time you press submit the um, sheet will populate with information. Now, if you've been taking notes elsewhere, you can also still drop your old notes in. So I really like this system. So I went back to what I read last semester and I just dropped it in. Obviously, there are going to be some blank pieces, but it's still one place where all my work is sitting. So I think that's really great. Now, um, oh gosh, <laughs> doesn't that doesn't matter. The next thing that you can do is um, share. If you have an advisor who wants to see what you're working on and keep track, you can actually share this page as a web page. And so you want to go to file and publish to the web. And it literally just creates a web page. So you put entire document, um, web page, or you can make it into something like this. Um, but I have mine as a web page. That way my advisors actually can go see what I'm doing and see the timestamp. And what ends up showing up on their end when they click the link is something like this. And I deleted or hid a couple of my um, form responses, like, you know, how long did it take you is obviously not here. I need to actually hide this one. But, um, you know, place notes is relevant to your work, one sentence summary, citation for the paper. And so now my advisors can see what I'm working on. They can keep up with what I've been reading. And if they have any questions, they can just look on here or they can ask me because they can look at this. And that is how I take notes. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can always send me an email at uh, Alante, A-L-L-A-N-T-E at strengths, not strikes.com. Be sure to listen to Black and in Grad School. It is an amazing podcast, if I do say so myself. You can look at it right here. It is available on Apple Podcasts and wherever you listen to your favorites, podcasts on Android. Thank you.